Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer. Not so bald, I've got a hat on. Yes, it's a bit chilly. I'm out um, on another exploration here in Wales. I'm... I know you're back in Shropshire. I'm just on the border. This is the border. We've actually, oh, the side is just... Sorry, I'm, I'm here with Harriet, the voice <laughs> off screen, who suddenly <laughs> just interrupted me is Harriet. Hello, Harriet. Hello, sorry. Yes, we are, I think we're still in Wales. If we go the other side of that, we're over the border. Because um, according to, well, according to Wikipedia, um, this is Offa's Dyke, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, it's a bit of a strange start. <laughs> I could have introduced this a bit better. I'm on Offa's Dyke. Uh, in Wales, close to Montgomery, uh, in Montgomery Shire. And the bit of the bank here is on the border, from what I understand, a mile from Montgomery, which is just, I'll just come down here so you can see, it's just down there, Montgomery, with a castle in the background. And England is that way. So I'm pretty certain about that. <laughs> Sorry, Harriet. No, I said that because the sign for Shropshire was just back there. So we were coming back into Shropshire. Yes, so we're on the border. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. It took one and a half minutes to get there. Anyway, let's get on with our walk. And here in front of me, a beautiful oak tree on this bank which and ditch, which seems to run, I'm guessing, southwards because the sun is to my right. And the thing about this ditch is, as I mentioned, we are on Offa's Dyke. King Offa, I believe the King of Mercia, who was very keen to keep the old ancient Britons out, um, who were in Wales, and he, in Mercia, was right on the border. Back in, I now, uh, I'll put it on the screen. It was something like 800 and something, but I can't remember exactly. This massive trench that was built to act as a border. And now, of course, it's a public right of way and a lot of people go along it. And that's what Harriet and I are going to do. We've done this um, before, haven't we, Harriet? Different parts of it in different places. Yes, we have, but not actually not for a long time, this bit of it, have we? No, this bit, um, we, we get a bit of the bank. We've done a bit over the Long Mountain, which yes. is, I'm guessing, further north from us. Would you say? Yeah, uh, yes, I would. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Come on, Lola. It's a little bit rough. We've got Lola on the lead because she uh, likes to chase sheep, yes. <laughs> which obviously is not a good thing. But this bank here lovely, is, it? uh, it's got these beautiful oak trees which have been on here for some hundreds of years, right on the border there. And you can see in the distance a bit more of the bank, which is, which is rather good because a lot of the Offers Dyke is just simply a track now without so much of the bank as so much has been filled in but there are stretches where you can see it and usually usually the higher point of the bank is on the Welsh side and the reason being to keep the Welsh out of course <laughs> I'm going to try and climb climb Clipe. climb I'm going to try and climb up this bank are we going up here I think so Oh. Let's just try and get up a little steep. Just shove. <laughs> shove me up uh, so that we can walk along oh. the, the very go. top. Go on, lift the old fella. Go on, lift me up. <laughs> Thanks. It's a little bit misty on this little walk, but it adds atmosphere. It's a beautiful November day. We've been very lucky. We couldn't, as you said earlier, we couldn't have asked for a better day to come out walking. No, in November, I mean, this really doesn't get much better than this, this time of year. So we're looking behind us here, beyond that oak tree there is, is England. Yep. And if I turn around this way, we're looking into Wales and that hill with the little, I don't know if you can see that, that's um, Montgomery Castle some sheep and various things. Absolutely beautiful countryside here. I'm st slowly uh, warming up now. I've unzipped my outer layer. Still got the thing on my head. But just coming away from here, I want to show you this sign. Here is the official Welcome to Shropshire sign. 
um, which tells us we're now crossing the border. And that, it, I think we're going to sort of weave in and out of the, the counties from Monmouthshire or into Powys, Montgomeryshire, I beg your pardon, yeah, no, quite right. Um, because we are walking on the actual dike, which presumably will take us over one side and over the other. The dike, I imagine, went through this bit of woodland. But anyway, Harriet's waiting for me on the other side of this style. Yes, I'm crossing over the border now. Luckily, I don't have to get the passport out, which is good. And as we record this, Brexit is being sort of messed up and worked out. So who knows in the future, we might have to get the old passport out just to go into Wales. You never know with devolution and all that. Oh, here we go. So back in Blighty. <laughs> Back in Shropshire. <laughs> Back in England. And yeah, very nice. I'm just walking alongside now this little woodland, which looks like it's ash. There you can see a few keys on the trees, which shows you that it was once ablaze with the uh, beautiful green leaves of ash trees. And then there's all these wonderful rural, rural, I mean these um, pasture fields. No, crops. Is this, this is crops, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no. Well, it's just grass at the moment, so it's been ploughed. Yes, ploughed and sown. Yeah. Because there's grass coming up, isn't there? Yeah. But whether it's going to be sown for crops or just sown for grass. Yeah, but very delightful. Isn't it lovely? And there's, what I was saying to you off camera is just, you just don't see anybody else up here, do you? No. <laughs> it is very spacious. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, down in Sussex where I live, of course, on the main routes, at the weekend you'll see a lot of walkers out on the perhaps on the um the south downs way and places like that the surrey way of course but you get onto the smaller roads you don't smaller lanes and paths you don't see that many no but here you could probably walk the whole day and not see anybody yeah although we did see a runner it's just sparsely populated so yes so and and when it's like this you you know it's just absolutely terrific right we'll press on just going to um, come off the path here a little bit, just um, because we're still on the we're still on the Shropshire side, and we're walking on the on the I suppose the east side of the bank, but yeah. you can't get onto the actual bank. But here, clambered onto the bank here, and you can just see a little bit of it. There's a fence. I'm just going to just crossing the fence. I shouldn't really do this, but I'm not damaging anything. No, 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 no just coming down here because I'm coming into what's left of the ditch here I don't know if you get that sense I'm back in off as dyke the actual dyke where there's these it looks like um, beech trees here beech trees something else that looks like an old beech tree all very very overgrown now just want to just want to give you a sense of how it feels and this is what the offers dyke path is from bits and pieces you can't walk in the dyke the whole way but what you can do is skirt it this is an oak tree coming up to us come back up here back onto the official footpath you can see there's this wire fence so i don't want to stay off it for too long harriet's right over there in the distance let's come back hello just trying to work work out how to get back onto the path. Somewhere around here. Come back to England. Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm back out onto the path. And there's miles and miles of this. I can't remember how long. I'll put it on the screen, all the uh, relevant stats and facts. And of course, there's no way we can cover <laughs> much more than really a, about a mile or half a mile of it in this walk. We could set ourselves a target to do this on a long distance walk, which would be great for the future. These beautiful rolling hills. And it does look so stunning. The oak <laughs> trees there with their hanging on to their leaves. It just looks amazing, doesn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. And it I, really is. <laughs> You know, if you're if you're somebody overseas who watches the work that I do, uh, perhaps where you are, you don't see the, the the dramatic scene changes of the seasons 
I mean, everywhere obviously is going to be different, but this is one of the fascinating things I think about England is the, the dramatic changes of the scenery with not only the height of the sun and the colour of the leaves, but obviously the weather and, and all of that. I can see another um, style, no, no, signpost is what I meant to say, probably a style next to it, up ahead. And I dare say we're going to cross into Wales again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I seem to remember we went this way once before and we were forever crossing from one country to the next. Like, I don't know, something out of the Great Escape. So there's no way that one can really give a, a full demonstration of the Offa's Dyke, the, the Offa's Way. Offa's Dyke? Offa's Way? Whatever. Um, Offa's Way along Offa's Dyke. Yes, it, that's think. it. Um, within a 10 minute video. But um, it would be great to come back and chart this as a, a long distance walk at some point, make that a project in the future and, uh, and try and do the whole thing. So I'm going to end now as we come to this path here. Here it is, straight into the sun. It says Offers to Dyke Peak? Path. Path, oh yeah. over the cattle grid here and uh, we've crossed back into Wales. How do I know that? Because over here oh. we've got the sign that says welcome to Shropshire that way. Oh I remember this last time we commented it was only Shropshire put the signs up. Ah there you go. It's so coming back to me. We did go this way we then. We did yeah, yes. yeah. Right. Just remembered. Onwards we go. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I'll do some more in this neck of the woods another time but for the meantime thanks to Harriet for these fantastic walks we've been doing recently very kind of you oh, it's been my pleasure it's been good fun hasn't it it has it's been lovely good to get out and get back in this part of the world I'll be coming up if Harriet will put me up again to do more <laughs> walks and more videos but in the meantime drop a comment let us know what you think always interested don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and maybe think about becoming a patron and helping to support the channel. That would be lovely. Check out baldexplorer.com. Till the next time from Harriet and I, goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. Absolutely beautiful.